What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another tutorial. And today we're gonna create an animated carousel. I built this me, brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down. Just cause you don't like the way another Now, continuing on with our animated series, today I'm gonna show you how to make your very own animated carousel. A carousel, if you don't already know, is a post containing more than one photo or video on Instagram where you can swipe left and go through all this. Now, this is a cool way to display your work on another level and create some new engaging content from the content that you already created. It's also a dope way to capture your viewers' attention and be able to keep them on your page for longer, trying to dissect every bits and piece of the carousel. I'll be creating one today to show you the various ways that you can showcase your photos and videos from your latest content shoot. And we're gonna be hopping in Premiere Pro for this one. A little bit of Photoshop if you haven't already created your animation, but this won't be a uh, collage tutorial. This is only gonna show you how to animate an already existing carousel. I'm gonna have part one, it's gonna be like, creating the collage or setting it up, and then part two is gonna be the animating it. Just so, in case you wanna know how to make one, you can make one, but in case you just wanna hop into it, you can just hop into it. But before we hop into the computer and get started on any type of animations, I'ma need you to hit that subscribe button. Yes, sir, so you don't miss a drop. And please, 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 if you could leave a like so the algorithm knows it's lit. Thank you. Yes, sir. Without further ado, though, Let's hop in this computer and start creating some magic. Yeah. All right, first things first. Always gonna go out and start cutting out all the people and start placing them in places that I kind of see them in the whole collage itself. This is pretty much the easy part. So after I started cutting all the people, I realized I wanted like some sort of Polaroid photo collage to add into it. Instead of making it myself to save time, I just headed over to today's sponsor, Envato Elements. Now, Envato Elements has over thousands of thousands of assets, including music, sound effects, video templates, fonts, and much, much more. It makes your creative process a breeze. Check them out, link in the description. So after I went and grabbed that piece from Envato Elements, I dropped that back in a photo and I started placing the rest of the people where I needed them to be. So now I went ahead and grabbed some of the images I wanted to place inside the Polaroids uh, to make the collage come together. And that's all just going into the PSD and replacing the mass that they have. So now we have to bring it all together. And what's better than bringing it together with a background that coincides with everything? So I use some sunset Los Angeles photos, and then I'm also using some of the Los Angeles map, as, le as well as some of the palm trees. Now we add in some quick little font treatment. We're gonna call this Operation Snowfall. I think that's a cool name. It's a cool little typewriter font. Um, and then change the snowfall to red using the color overlay. And then that's gonna be that. Now here, I wanna add some slight highlights on of Teddy, Oso, and Saint. And as well as I wanna add a little bevel on Leon just to bring some dynamic and ambiance to the overall collage. So it has a little bit of depth and it's not so flat. Now here's where I'm just gonna go ahead and add the final touches, like coloring, add a little bit of noise, add a little bit of gradient overlay, um, black and white, just to give it some overall color depth, as well as I wanna add a few splatters on top of the Operation Snowfall, just to give it that blood gore appeal. Thank you. 
we have to condense this down to like a few elements um just so when we're editing the elements it's easier to manipulate everything so in the back of my head right now i know i'm gonna add like a glow around franklin i'm gonna have this probably come in like a burn burn film i'm probably gonna keep these how they are first come on it'll have like a nice little glow on franklin the money will slide up in the background this is gonna um this is gonna move right here then in the next slide over i am gonna put like a clip right here maybe of him and man boy doing something i'm gonna put a main clip another main clip here where they're probably talking it's like a see uh, something from the season that happened I'm gonna have some glowing like on his, his ring and stuff like that for Jerome. I'm gonna have like a little musk of uh, smoke coming around or something like that. I'm probably gonna splatter the Operation Snowfall when they get over there. I'm gonna splatter that on there. And you just really wanna go through everything to break it down. I sometimes think these this part is too long, but since I didn't do it really in the last one, I'm gonna do it in this one just so you guys have a good understanding of what's going on um, before we take it over. But like I said, I don't want, I hate the tutorials when they're like so long and drawn out, but you guys have been saying that you guys like these lengthy tutorials when I'm explaining everything that's happening. So that's why I'm taking so long. Sorry guys. So moms, boom, boom. So all that stuff, let's go ahead and I'm going to just quickly go through all the people and condense those first as well. Cool. Now, since all the people are go are locked in already, now we go ahead and do the text. I all right foot holder now since this is the the main thing here what we have to do for this is kind of special because this fourth this fourth one we're using image base put the image here shadow okay this one's a little tricky right because we want to have just this part separately so i think we need to take out all of those from out of the photo holder and create their own. So boom, delete that. So now they're all their own. So this one is one, this one is one, this one is one. I feel like it'll be easier for me to mask as well when we head over to Premiere. One last step before we hop into Premiere Pro, we have to make PSDs for all these. So we already sliced them from the guides. So now literally all you're gonna do is click on this right here, go to crop tool, and then you gotta crop each single area and then save it as its own PSD. Slide mod one, you don't need moms anymore. And you don't need four, three, two, everything that you don't see. One. So everything you don't see, go ahead and delete it. Money pack. Where's my money, Teddy? Louis, Rome, Wanda. You don't see. You've seen all these people. You got to keep Leon on there. Delete that. Delete that. Oops. And keep the ambiance. We're going to go ahead and save that. All right, so now we head into Premiere. We're gonna create a new sequence and then we're gonna create a four by five sequence. Um, you guys remember to save your sequences so you don't always have to keep going back and find out what the dimensions are. I always have a, a, a bunch of set presets that are already pretty much used. So IG four by five is the one I'm gonna go with. And that frame size is 1200 by 1500 vertical at 24 frames per second, just so you guys know. Let's go ahead and create these bins, Let's call it assets. So now we got the assets, Snowfall, we created our uh, comp that we're gonna be editing in. I went and dropped in already the three slides that we made prior to it for the cover photos for YouTube. I already dropped in a couple of uh, highlights from Snowfall that we're gonna use to like add in there and I added a little fog that I want throughout. I might grab another fog. And we're gonna go ahead and upload them up one by one. So slide one, two, and three. Open. It's gonna ask you, 
uh, how you want to import it. You want to import it as a sequence. And then you want to do that for the next two too. So now we have it. Now we're working with our first slide. So with the first slide, let's go ahead and create a, like a little marker. We're going to drop in that cover photo just so we have it. You don't have to use it. It doesn't have to be there. I like to use it just for a point of reference. Scale the frame. We're going to go ahead and lock that up right there. Boom. Where it says slide one, go ahead and grab the slide one and grab the last one. It's going to give you all the elements that we're already using. Plus, it's going to give you a sequence at the bottom here. So it's already locked up. Pretty much open up this file here. And we're going to drag all these layers over to 10 just so we have them. Boom. So I'm not trying to do that thing where I bring all the elements into this space because normally when people see this on the timeline, it should already be on the timeline. Like it should already look like a picture. And if they click and watch it, then the picture will then turn into the actual video, right? All right. So noise, the light, we can lock those in because those have to stay, right? Remember I told you guys I want to add a little bit of fog in between. I want the fog to be underneath and I also want the money to come up. So we're gonna actually use push, push impact. You, like I said, it's from the film impact pack. Now you can, like I said, use the keyframe just like you do in After Effects, create a keyframe, make it come up like that. Um, or you can use transform. Um, transform gives you that um, motion blur that you can add on there. But I'm just gonna use push impact just cause it's like, saves me time. So we're gonna go ahead and do that in like the first second. Boom. And I want that to come up from the bottom. Up. So now it's just gonna come up like that. Now, say, let me add a track. Say I just wanted to show you guys, turn this off real quick, delete this. What I was talking about, just so you guys know what I'm saying, like, oh, I don't know how to do it. I'm just gonna show you real quick, transform. And I, I, I save a lot of my effects that I do the same thing too, cause it's like, you could do the same thing a hundred different ways. So boom, go and transform, transform, click off of this, make it 180, position, put it down. Wherever you want to come up, like it's here, boom. Go ahead and like refresh that. Go ahead and easy ease these and linear. And now they'll come up just the same. If you want to have like a little bit of a stop, you go easy ease in. So it has like a nice little stop motion. But like I said, you can do it multiple different ways. We're gonna go ahead and throw that glow on Franklin. Cool. See how I get, I don't know, it looks it looks more cinematic already. So you just wanna play with those a little bit. Go ahead and create a marker. Turn it up a little bit. 45, 10, 45. And then go ahead and copy those. The base and the frame we're going to make that one layer it's going to be multiple nests inside of a nest and we're going to do the same thing with this we're going to do a, a slide oh no push and we're going to just push it push it to the left boom they come in at the same time it might even come in a little second later and now in this asset folder we do want to drop some of that fog in there Bomb. Go ahead and drop that opacity to like lighten our screen. And now we got the smoke in the background, but I need it to be over at least Teddy. If it's not gonna be, oops. If it's not gonna be over Oso, it needs to be at least over Teddy. Move those down, move the fog up. Down. Maybe turn the opacity down a little bit. I 
I want to add the where's my money teddy. I want that to be like some sort of burn. Form. Drop the transform on teddy. Start at the beginning. Oh. Uh, remember to turn this off. We're going to make this one 90 though. We're going to do scale and position. A couple of ticks. Make his scale up. Move the position up. Don't want to right there. Move it here. Maybe move it down. Over. Maybe make the scale a little bit. Ooh. A little bit longer. And then you just keep doing that. Copy and they'll just keep doing the same thing. Teddy's moving a little bit. Now for Saint transform I'm just gonna move him up and down and the last thing for this is I do want to add like some moving clouds in the back since this is the main um, one I just gotta go add go grab some clouds from Envato elements now we're gonna move these clouds up because we only need it like in this space up here we can even make it smaller because I know it's humongous Boom. Then we're gonna go ahead and opacity these. Probably linear dodge. I like soft light. Soft light rocks. All right, cool. And I think for this one, this is what we got. Thing. So you're gonna have that. Like that and it just opened and everything that's when everything starts to move and like I said you can go on here on this and then click a bunch of them it's, they have a bunch to choose from and I like that now you gotta do that same step for all two of the slots go ahead and add a new track we have from Teddy's and it's pasting on Leon. Shadow. Put that as pin one. Okay, cool. Pin one. And then you want to do that for all the pins just so y'all have them like All right, bet. Go ahead and delete all the empty tracks. That should help a lot. Cool. Now we got our four pins right here, and cool. We're gonna work in pin, pin three, right? No, I'm gonna add the clip where where Franklin was like, "I built this, me, brick by brick, and I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way another." Talk. all right so that scene right there <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and drop that scene right where you put the image here so it says put image here that's what the image has right go ahead and in about 25 seconds go ahead and create a cut go ahead and add a crop and you're gonna just crop it to where the mask was it to dissolve right here boom bang it's gonna change all right so that's pretty much how you got the first one um we're gonna go ahead and create that new track right here We got that fog booming. Maybe we could turn it up a little bit. Just so people come on now. Got to see the fog a little bit. We're gonna bump her scale, keyframe that. Bump her scale up to 104. And I don't even want it too crazy, like every couple of seconds. 
turn it back down to two, one, put it back up to like 104. I did want the paper to kind of like slide in with the text. I want the splatter to come in like, like here. Drop the additive on the splatter. So it's kind of like, it just happened, boom, like splatter. I need to add the text and the paper into one nested sequence. So I'm gonna nest those up together. Cool beans. Cool, and I'm just gonna push those down. Push down the paper. Come on, come on. Oh my God. All right, the paper's gonna come. Oh, we want it coming down from the top down yeah like that like that and then the text is gonna come and drop on there and then we're gonna probably put the burn effect for that so like it's like blood seeping that's kind of like what I've injured when it like blood the blood is like like that if you wanted to you can add like a glow or something if you want like subtle movements and you always want to have to be doing too much sometimes you could just add a slight glow on the background and then like it'll give you what you need Boom, like a little slight glow like that so like um threshold 91 maybe we bump it down to like 87 go back up to 91 now for the pin we just got to do the pin one more time Cool. Nest these. Pin four. Cool. And then for this one, it's the same thing. Maybe like 25 seconds in. We'll go ahead and cut that. Create a new layer with that. We'll go ahead and create the same mask that we've been doing, you guys. To our lines up with everything. Scale it up. too big Switch pin. Now that you don't have to do all this, this is me just being extra, y'all. I'm just showing y'all the steps that I be doing. Oh, I think that's it. I'm gonna cut out a couple of cuss words. And like I said, you guys, all you gotta do is file export each of them. I'm gonna show you how they all look together. And I'm gonna show you how it would look if you were like sliding through a carousel. Now, I hope that helped you in some way, shape or form and got those gears turning for your next creative project. Remember, test the boundaries, test new things. You don't know unless you know, you know? You're creating something from scratch. You're creating something from your mind. Just, you know, continue to explore the creative boundaries that's out there. I hope I helped you add something to your repertoire or your skill set to help you showcase some new and cool projects that you have coming up. And if you haven't already, check out the Big Flish Blueprint that I already dropped. It's my course showing you guys how to start in content creation, freelancing, how to get money, and how to start making some money within the first 30 days. But as always, you guys, remember, Please keep hustling, <laughs> keep learning, and most importantly, man, keep creating. Yes, sir. And until next time, Ollie Dope, I'm checking out. 
Yes, sir.